Welcome back to this year's Pixel Festival. I'm now joined by Luz Sanchez. And we're going to be talking about your project, Unnecessary Force. Uh, please, can you tell me a bit about that project and how it relates to this year's Pixel? Yeah, well, uh, this Unnecessary Force is um, a long-term art research project. And it deals um, with violence, uh, contemporary violence, specifically in Mexico as symbolic and as a real territory. And um, and well, until now, there have been like four different installations coming up from that project. And we're going to present one of the 30 very first ones in Pixel. Thank you very much. Um, has this, uh, the influence for this project come over a long time? Because obviously there have been a, uh, problems along the borders for a long time, or has it been any sort of case in particular that inspired you to, uh, with this project? Well, the, um, the whole project deals with um, contemporary violence, as I said, uh, against civilians, like people, normal people like you and me, but happening to live in Mexico. So um, the question of the project, uh, which uh, all the installations come around trying to answer is how civilians survive this such extreme violence, um, sometimes with no help from any structure from the state, you know, no police. Uh, police sometimes is corrupt, politicians mm -hmm. as well. So it's very difficult to navigate uh, in the day to day. So specifically, the one that we're going to see in Pixel deals with uh, journalism made by citizens. That is, uh, citizens that are, are uh, caught in a crossfire in many cities that happens everywhere in Mexico, Mexico City, Tijuana, Oaxaca, Puerto Vallarta, everywhere, Cancun, uh, the border, of course. And uh, they they record those uh, crossfires that they're caught in, and then they upload those on YouTube. So I did a research, I selected some of those recordings and put them just in these devices that are in the shape of a gun. And what we can hear is each one of these micro soundscapes uh, that were taken from uh, real situations happening to people just like you and me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And um, in particular, uh, would you say that there is a rise in this sort of uh, media led by civilians because there is a distrust in the media that is led by the, maybe the government or other organizations? Well, it's a very good question. It is very difficult to answer um, because, uh, yes, could be mistrust. Could be also that regional media has been um, uh, under threats from both uh, corrupt uh, police officers and also by cartels. And the fact that social media has a spinning revolution on how we communicate among each other. So it's easier just to communicate to your family members, your friends, your your group, uh, the community that you belong to about something happening here or there within the city. Like, don't come now. There's a shootout. Uh, I can go. There's something going on in the corner. So that's the way to communicate among each other. And in a way, it's also like giving testimony about what they're being living, what they're going through. But it's in part mistrust, but in part also media not being able to follow because of the threats. So it's a mix depending on the area of, of the country that you start like uh, looking at. is gone off completely. Yes, I don't know whether you can hear us, but your camera went off, but we still had sound oh. and now we do completely. Oh, oh, I was watching you all the time and I have my camera on and my internet seems to be okay. Yeah. Do you want me to go out and okay. again or? Uh, it says the bandwidth. So maybe is it us or I don't know, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just try and do something here to increase the bandwidth. Um, we've okay. had the problems today. We got most of what you said, but maybe like the last minute, um, you just went on the screen and then uh, it was after that. So uh, we'll just try and fix it a second. Okay. 
Sorry about this. That was okay. Hello. Mm -hmm. uh, but you yeah, hear me yeah. okay? So yeah. Maybe if, if it falls out, just try to press. Uh, okay. On the screen but, again. But, uh, okay. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 So, um, if we could just repeat. Sorry um, to go back on it, but if you could repeat, maybe just like the last sort of part of what you said, just so we we have everything. But do you? Can you just cue me on where did you lost me? Well, uh, we lost you. Because it was, uh, a, 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 it was a long answer. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We did hear about the the fact of the social media and everything, and then uh, you you said about regional, uh, uh, yeah, the regional media as well, and and then then it sort of went a bit fuzzy afterwards. So, <laughs> okay, well, Sorry. I'll try to. I was I was trying to wrap up the idea anyway, so I'll I'll try to do, yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Sorry. <laughs> So as I, as I was saying, uh, this is more like a, a, a mixed uh, situation here, where yes, in, in, in certain situations, we have the, the, um, the fact that there's mistrust of media, uh, but also on the other hand, we have uh, regional media that are being under threat, so they can not really fulfill their duties as, as uh, informants or as, as as a, a main source of information for a community so sometimes yes it may be a mix of that and the fact that uh, social networks have uh, made a revolution how we communicate among us in our communities and how it's also uh, easier now with the tools that we have uh, to uh, just extend information to certain uh, parts of our community to, to direct messages. And I think that's also very important, very interesting. Thank you. And um, where do you see yourself going within the next 12 months? Uh, do you see yourself branching into new areas or working very much in the same area, but with new uh, inspiration? Well, um, I'm, I'm evolving uh, quite, uh, uh, slowly, so to speak, because of the long term rhythm of the project. So um, I still have uh, this uh, on a Zary Force number four, an exhibition now in Mexico City was this one that you can see in Pixel. Another version was just lately in LA, uh, in the United States. And the whole uh, edition of the four installations are going to go to a solo show in Poznan next year. And I got a grant to do uh, another piece because this was also um, uh, made with a grant. So I have a three year production grant for another project called Power Room. And so in this one, and, and it's the, the opposite side, so to speak, instead of uh, going and questioning what's going on how civilians survive in such situations uh, where the state is absent. Now I'm going to ask why is the state being so absent and so reluctant to really fulfill what they're supposed to be doing, which is protect uh, citizens and, 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 and instead of that becoming perpetrators. So why is that we, we, we're having that issue? And those questions are placing them in this project called project uh, power room which also will be presented part of it in in text and in trondheim and it's going to be part of this solo show in poland next year so um it's, so to speak i'm going to continue working with politics uh trying to to, to find out what is what is going on thank you very much and will you be coming in person to the pixel festival this year Yes, I'll be there. I'll be very happy to be there. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. Well, I'll meet you next week then at the festival. Thank you very much. And yeah, see you next week. <laughs> okay. Bye bye. Hasta luego. <laughs> Hasta luego. Ciao, ciao. Take care. Thank you very much. Bye bye. <laughs>